Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we learn to be a better programmer. And this is part two of our Learn the Mern Stack tutorial where we're building a note-taking app uh, using Node.js, Express, React, and MongoDB. Uh, in the last video, what we did, we set up our Git repo and we uh, set up our directory structure of our application. Um, and so uh, you can find that video here. And then in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our server side code. So we're just gonna set up our web server using Express, and then it's gonna sit on top of Node.js. Uh, you can clone a repo to follow along here at this link. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, everyone, so here I am in my Visual Studio code. And what I'm gonna work on this in this video is I'm just gonna start up a simple Express server, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say npm install express. Awesome, so it's installed. So now I'm going to create a new file inside of server, and I'm gonna call it server.js. And so this is gonna be the basic uh, code, like code for our uh, express server. So I'm gonna pull in express, I'm gonna say const express equals require express like this and then I'm going to say const app is equal to express and now I'm going to say app.use express.json so this is going to allow us to just pop parse uh, JSON, uh, JSON, JSON of the incoming request and then lastly very simple I'm just going to say app.listen on uh, lo uh, port 3000, and then I'm gonna throw in a callback, and I'm just gonna console.log listening, oops, I need backticks, listening on port um, plus uh, 3000, like this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open my terminal, I'm gonna say node, uh, server.js. Awesome. So we see that our Express server is ready to listen for requests, um, and that's that's great. So um, now I just want to refactor some things a little bit right here. So instead of the, having these hard-coded ports, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to call create a variable, and I'm going to call it uh, API port. So it's going to be const API port is equal to um, process.env.port or uh, I'm actually instead of 3000 I'm going to do 8080 all right so 8080 or I'm going to say API port and then in the back ticks instead of con string concatenation like this I can do dollar sign and then API port like that all right so now when I go to my terminal and I say node server.js we can see I'm listening on port 8080. All right, so this is at, at its core a very basic Express server, right? So when we send in a request into port 8080, we're going to be able to serve that request. And so what this looks like is uh, I can actually add a route. So I can say app.get, and then I'm just going to say that uh, just the basic route, and I'm going to say request response like this and then inside of here I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say res dot send response like this all right now how do we test this all right so I'm just gonna start up this server I'm gonna say oh, I have to restart it and now I'm gonna use what's called postman all right so let's jump over to postman and see what that looks like all right so postman is a great tool for allowing you to test uh, backend APIs. So the way it, it works is you just send a request to a URL and then you get a response back and you're able to do some more things. And that's basically the basic of what you can do. This, this application is super powerful. So I'm just gonna hit this plus sign up here and I'm gonna say a get request to localhost colon 8080 slash. And then we're gonna see send this request and then we're gonna see what we get back. Awesome, so we get response back, all right? Now let's do something a little bit more, um, have it be a little bit more uh, involved. So if I put in uh, a colon name and I can say hello, 
comma plus rec.params.name like this. And now I'm going to restart my server. And over here, I'm just going to say, put in my name as the part of the string. And then I'm just going to say send. And it's going to say hello, Gerard. Awesome. So that means we're able to, our, our server is ready to listen for requests and we're ready to start building our server side application. All right, so what we did in this video is we created the skeleton for our express web server. And we've also tested that server by creating a dummy route, a dummy get route that allows us to put in a name and say hello back as a part of the response, okay? So this is gonna be the building block for our application going forward. And so um, in the next video, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna set up our server side model and our DB. And that's gonna allow us to uh, store our data in a persistent way on a cloud database that we'll be able to query using our uh, Express server. All right, so if you like the video, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.